Maureen Bridget Dowd is an American columnist for the New York Times and best-selling author. During the 1970s and the early 1980s, she worked for Time magazine and the Washington Star, where she covered news as well as sports and wrote feature articles. Dowd joined the Times in 1983 as a Metropolitan reporter and eventually became an op-ed writer for the newspaper in 1995. In 1999, she was awarded a Pulitzer Prize for her series of columns on the Monica Lewinsky scandal in the Clinton administration. Early life and career, Dowd was born the youngest of three children in Washington, D.C. and is of Irish-American ancestry. Her father, Mike, worked as a Washington, D.C. police inspector, while her mother, Peggy, was a homemaker. Dowd graduated from Immaculata High School in 1969. She received a B.A. in English in 1973 from the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Dowd began her career in 1974 as an editorial assistant for the Washington Star, where she later became a sports columnist, metropolitan reporter, and feature writer. When the newspaper closed in 1981, she went to work at Time. In 1983, she joined the New York Times, initially as a metropolitan reporter. She began serving as correspondent in the Times Washington Bureau in 1986. In 1991, Dowd received a breakthrough award from Columbia University. In 1992, she was a Pulitzer Prize finalist for national reporting and in 1994 she won a Matrix Award from New York Women in Communications. New York Times columnist, 1995 a Euro present, Dowd became a columnist on the New York Times op-ed page in 1995, replacing Anna Quinlan, who left to become a full-time novelist. Dowd was named a Woman of the Year by Glamour magazine in 1996, and won the 1999 Pulitzer Prize, for distinguished commentary. She won the Damon Runyon Award for Outstanding Contributions to Journalism in 2000, and became the first Mary Alice Davis Lectureship Speaker at the University of Texas at Austin in 2005. In 2010, Dowd was ranked number 43 on the Daily Telegraph's list of the 100 most influential liberals in America. In 2007, she was ranked number 37 on the same list. Dowd's columns have been described as letters to her mother, whom friends credit as the source, the fountain of Maureen a Euro unregistered trademark as humor and her Irish sensibilities and her intellectual take. Dowd herself has said, she is in my head in the sense that I want to inform and amuse the reader. Unabashedly politically liberal, Dowd's columns are distinguished by an acerbic, often polemical writing style. Her columns often display a critical and irreverent attitude towards powerful, mostly political figures such as former presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. Dowd also tends to refer to her subjects by nicknames. For example, she has often referred to Bush as W. and former Vice President Dick Cheney as Big Time. She has called President Barack Obama Spock, and Barry. Dowd's interest in candidates' personalities earned her criticism early in her career, she focuses too much on the person but not enough on policy. Dowd who perceives her columns to be an exploration of politics, Hollywood, and gender-related topics, often uses popular culture to support and metaphorically enhance her political commentary. In a Times video debate, she said of the North Korean government, who could look at a movie like Mean Girls and figure out the way these North Koreans are reacting. You know it's like high school girls with nuclear we upon Seguro they just want some attention from us, you know? Dowd's columns have also been often described as political cartoons that capture the caricatured image of the current political landscape, with both precision and exaggeration. In the run-up to the 2000 presidential election, for example, Dowd wrote that Democratic candidate Al Gore is so feminized and diversified and ecologically correct that he's practically lactating, while referring to the Democratic Party as the Mommy Party. In a Fresh Dialogues interview years later, she said, I was just teasing him a little bit because he was so earnest and he could be a little righteous and self-important. That a Euro unregistered trademark is not always the most effective way to communicate your ideas, even if the ideas themselves are right. I mean, certainly his ideas were right but he himself was a Euro sometimes a Euro a pompous messenger for them. 
Talking Points Memo blogger Theja Shaw blog found a paragraph in Dowd's May 17, 2009 Times column that was similar to one in a May 14 blog post by TPM editor Josh Marshall, and accused her of plagiarism. Dowd said the wording was a line told to her by a friend, and that she had never read the blog. Since then, Dowd's column has been updated with a correction that references Marshall. The public editor for The Times, Clark Hoyt, said, Readers have a right to expect that even if an opinion columnist like Dowd tosses around ideas with a friend, her column will be her own words. If the words are not hers, she must give credit. In January 2014, Dowd said she ate about one quarter of a cannabis-infused chocolate bar, while touring the legalized recreational cannabis industry. She said she was later told she should have only eaten one sixteenth, which was not in the instructions on the label. She then described her negative experiences with legal cannabis in a June 3, 2014, New York Times op-ed. In September 2014, Dowd followed up on this story with another New York Times op-ed, this time describing a discussion of using consumable cannabis with her marijuana Miyagi, Willie Nelson. Bibliography, Bushworld, Enter at Your Own Risk. G.P. Putnam Sons 2004. ISBN A 0 425 20276 3. -a. Are men necessary? When sexes collide. Putnam. 2005. ISBN A 0 7553 1550 2. -a. References. External links Dowd's columns at the New York Times. Dowd participates in an extended political discussion with Andrew Rosenthal. David Brooks and Frank Rich, The New York Times Video, July 17, 2006, Maureen Dowd at the Internet Movie Database, a film clip The Open Mind, Are Men Necessary? is available for free download at the Internet Archive, more, Booknotes Interview with Dowd on Bushworld, Enter at Your Own Risk, August 8, 2004.